And yo, I've come to notice that there's a few people that are trying to figure out how is it that I'm able to have so many years of experience and also hold a doctorate degree in medicine. And in this video, I'm basically going to answer that question to you. Listen, I became an EMT in 2003 when I was 17. Then I became a paramedic in 2007. And I entered medical school in 2010. And I graduated as a medical doctor holding a medical degree, a doctorate in medicine in 2017. I am a paramedic with nearly 20 years of experience in pre-hospital care who attended medical school while working as a paramedic per diem in Transcare Ambulance, at Transcare Ambulance. I would go to school in, I would, I went to medical school in the Dominican Republic and worked per diem as a paramedic in New York City. You should have seen my freaking passport. It didn't have any more room for stamps. At customs, they thought I was selling drugs. They didn't know what I was doing. Why was I traveling back and forth so much? When did I travel? I traveled during vacations. I traveled during long weekends. I would come to New York, work as much hours, work 50 to 70 hours in a weekend, work as much as I could so I could go ahead and cover the expenses for the transport and then use the leftover change so I could live and pay for school while attending medical school in the Dominican Republic. The way this helped was that every single dollar you get 50 to 55 pesos per dollar. So after paying the flight, after paying for the expenses related to the trip, I stayed with the change and used it in the Dominican Republic while cutting my expenses. So for people trying to figure out how is it that a person who is so young, who is so well put together, who's so well spoken, you got people that use it as a motivation. They're like, yo, damn, if NYC Streets MD, if Dr. Ray Kyrus, if Dr. Kyrus was able to do it, I could do it. But then you got other haters that they're like, yo, I gave up on my dreams. Now it's, for, it's time for me to hate on what I gave up on. Bro, if you at home twiddle fingers trying to research me check to see if i got a board certification check to see if i have a medical license knock yourself out i don't i'm practicing digital medicine and why do i take the time to address this my people i went from being arrested raised by a single mother on welfare to being able to reach 1.1 million people on this youtube channel right here the metaverse is coming. All these things are coming. You better get with the program. Trading your time for money is not going to cut it. If a high school dropout such as myself, who's been addicted to different type of things like drugs, porn, anger, depression, suicidal thoughts came from this brain. And now I got my life back. If I'm able to do it, you're able to do it. And if you are one of those people who look at me or look at other people who are successful in life and you want to find reasons to bring them down, although they're trying to bring everybody up with them, that's a shame on you. Good things happen to good people. If a man is right, his world will be right. That's why a lot of the people talking crap on the internet don't even have a picture of their face on their profile. That's why their profile's in private because they live a very disgusting life that they're trying to hide from. They don't want to expose it. They're not exposable because they are shy and embarrassed of what it is that they do. We should check out their browser history and look at the type of things they search online. It's despicable, I bet it is. But whatever, let's not spend time on them. For you who are interested in leveling up, understand, upon your level up, you're going to have people that you motivate and you have other people that you intimidate. Whatever it is, just do you because your family needs you to be the best version of yourself. And it starts with you being in shape. It starts with you being the best version of yourself. I mean, look, I'm 36 years old and I'm feeling awesome, fresh cut. Got my shades on, been up since 3 in the morning. And if I could do it, you could do it. I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. We both do number two. We both go to the bathroom and take a shit. We both bleed. If I'm a paramedic who was able to step up, you could do it as well. 
please, my people, step up to the plate. It's 2021. The times are changing. You got to get with the program. I hope this helps. Peace.